his strength and that of his wife and the courage of their daughter came from their Christian conviction. All of us will echo their prayer that out of the personal tragedies of Inniskillen may come a reconciliation between the communities. In Inniskillen today, Mr. Gordon Wilson, who was singled out for praise by the Queen, attended an early morning church service before visiting the grave where his daughter Marie is buried. But despite the royal tribute for his forgiveness, Mr. Wilson modestly declined to talk about the Queen's speech. Elsewhere in the town, the faithful came to church still bearing the wounds of the IRA bomb. Amongst them was Stephen Ross, whose face and leg were shattered in the explosion. Some, though, were still too ill to attend church. 68-year-old Dora Thompson, who sustained multiple fractures, was allowed home from hospital two days ago. She waited today to hear the Queen's speech, but afterwards she and her husband said they could not forgive the killers who planted the bomb. Wreaths today decked the town's war memorial. Now, not only in the cathedral and in other churches and church halls, uh, the people of Northern Ireland, like the people of Great Britain, have been watching. And in hospital in Londonderry, a young boy, Stephen Ross, whose face was so badly damaged by the explosion, has been listening to the service with his memories. <laughs> And at the hospital in Inniskillen. came and laid their wreaths in memory of those who had died in the explosion. 